Hi everyone, uh, today I'm going to show you how to use SVGs and use them as Boolean objects uh, in Fluent. So let's go. So uh, first of all we need to import the SVGs that we want. Uh, I'm going to start with the simple example. Uh, it will appear here as a curve. Uh, you need to scale it probably and put it up like that. Okay. So once you have this, uh, you go to Object, Convert, and Mesh. All right. Now with Fluent, I uh, just go to the Fluent menu, Toolbox, and become Fluent. And this will create like an object, a mesh like that, and this is what we're going to use to cut into this object. So first of all, make sure that your cutter is a little bit inside and outside of the object that you want to cut. I'm gonna move it probably around here. Uh, so select the object, select the main object, F, boolean and boom you have it so um, this is the simple example uh, sometimes you might have some issues like if your uh, boolean uh, object is not deep enough you might have issues like that and this is probably because you need to lower here the object a little bit down or the other problem might be that the bevel here of the main object is actually too high. So for example, if I increase here the bevel, you see the problem appears. So either you lower to fix it or you select the main object, press F and hold shift and then drag down a little bit to reduce the bevel. This will fix uh, most of the issues that you could have uh, with the SVG boolean object like that. Okay, so let's go with a more difficult object. Uh, I'm gonna select uh, this one. And this one is a little bit more complex actually because it has different shapes. Okay, so like we did, object converts mesh and F toolbox become fluent. And boom, we have an error that says uh, your object seems to not be a plane. Uh, the reason for that is because we have edges that are not uh, right. So if we go to edit mode, and then go to the face mode. Uh, we're gonna try to move some faces to see where the problem is. And we can already see it as uh, that we have here some edges that are connected to this point and then kind of crossing this face. And this is not a good way to, to make a play. So to fix this, uh, you have a simple solution. You select everything go to edge mode, press X and dissolve edges here. If the shape is still good of your object and it, it only, you see here, removes inside lines, uh, this is fine. Sometimes it might change the shape of the object and this is not what we want but I'm going to show you in the third example how to fix this. Go back to object mode and now become fluent it's working so that's pretty cool. All right so like we did with the previous example a little bit inside a little bit outside select boolean object main object F boolean boom. Um, we can see that we need to lower it a little 
bit. Boom. All right. Uh, we see here some issues. To see better what we are doing, we select the main object, press F and show hide wireframe. And we see here there is a novel app. Uh, the reason for that is because uh, the um, bevel of the main object is actually too high. So we need to lower it here. And once the problem is gone, we can stop and keep this here. Okay, so you need to inspect every corner to see where we have some issues. Uh, of course, if it's an object in the background, you don't really care about details, but most of the time you might want to fix those kind of issues. Uh, to fix those kind of issues, we're gonna actually click here to select the Boolean object and go into the modifiers and click on this one to actually see it when we are in edit mode. So you go to edit mode and we go to vertices. Okay. Um, the reason why we have this is because we have this kind of line here and this is not good for uh, the object because it's actually stretching uh, the edges. So we need to add a support edge. To do that, we're going to use the cut tool, press K, select this, go here and then press enter. And we have it. Now this bevel is actually supported by those lines and this will help make it a little bit better. Uh, we have the same issue here. Mm, press K and go here, boom, enter, and now it looks good. Um, if you put here um, support edge here, I really recommend you to, to avoid getting close to a lot of vertices. So if you can put it here on an edge, um, that's fine. And uh, I really uh, advise you to not connect, for example, here, because it will create some uh, problem with this bevel. So it will just move the problem uh, around. All right, uh, I guess we're done with this one. So that's pretty cool. Go back to object mode and we're going to go for the third example here. Boom. And this one. All right. Select the curve. S. Move it up. All right. So always the same. Convert to mesh. And then F. Become fluent. And this time we have also the problem. So we're gonna try the first method, go to uh, the edge, edit, select everything, X, and dissolve edges. And as you can see here, it actually changed the uh, shape of the object. And this is not what we want. So I'm gonna control Z, I'm gonna try to understand what is going on um, here. So go to face mode, try to select this and move it up just to see what is the issue. So the issue is that we have a line that is connected to this. So we're gonna right click and go to vertex mode. Uh, actually to fix it very quickly and I think it will fix it. Uh, this one is actually already on this line, so you can merge it with this one. Um, if you don't have the add-on, uh, this is machine tool I'm gonna use. So if you don't have machine tool, you can find it, it's free. 
or it's one euro i think yeah it's very uh, very cheap you can actually merge those two by pressing one on the keyboard uh, with uh, machine tool so i'm gonna connect those and then go back to face mode move it again and this looks right all right let's try again and if we don't have any issues that's fine if we have more then we can uh, try to fix them so that's perfect right click again go here select the main object boolean seems to be fine right so for this one it's pretty cool um if you have lines like that sometimes it creating uh, it's creating some issues uh like this for example overlaps um i always recommend you to actually um go here show the wireframe and i always recommend you to put a line in the middle so to put a line in the middle you actually need to select the main object go to edit mode go to the top view and then ctrl r and add an edge in the middle around here looks pretty fine always try to uh, put it in the middle of your boolean object for for example here or here for example and you want to avoid maximum uh, places where you have some kind of a lot of vertices here uh, for this one it's a little bit complex because we have it here here and here so we're gonna keep it like that or we can just put it here probably it will uh, create less issues because here we can see like a small overlap so you can go back to edit mode, press G, G, move it up, and something like that. And this way we are sure that we don't have any issues. All right, that was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and see you on the next one.